Hey Soul Group, how you guys doing? It's I'm Shiva X back again with another video and this one titled Power and Control. So first off before I start, I just want to thank all you guys for the support, your likes, your comments, and for the ones that subscribe. From the bottom of my heart, it really means a lot because it gave me the energy that I needed to go ahead and push forward and keep this beautiful experience going. So thank you guys again and let's get started. Scorpio Rising wants power and control because we've been putting situations on in life where we felt like we didn't have power or we didn't have control or maybe someone had control over us. You know, it may have been a parent, um, a guardian, a spouse, an ex, um, an auntie, an uncle, whoever it may be. There's somebody who's been in control of us in our life who have taught us to, so they taught us how to be controlled and they taught us how to control and who's actually being controlled then you know whenever you're the, it's time for you to control that person or control someone you actually know how to make them feel as if they're not even being controlled right because you think back to whenever you were in a situation where you were being controlled what did that person do that made you right that person that had power over you what did they do to make you resent it to make you fight against it you learn those things. You learn what you didn't like, what you fought against. You think about how you would have wanted to have been controlled or how you have wanted somebody to lead you. That's really what it is about. It's about being a leader. And you can't be a correct leader until you was a follower. And, you know, it's crazy to think about it like this, but we were blessed at a young age to have been controlled because it gave us a thirst for power. It gave us a thirst that we needed, right? We're putting our life to actually control us. We're actually putting our life for a reason, right? Because when they were put there to control us, they actually taught us how to be a controller and how to control, right? They taught us how to regulate our own power because a young Scorpio rising, whether a toddler, a teenager, or a young adult, really, we really don't know how to control our power yet. We don't know what our power can do, right? And I believe that those ones that were in charge actually saw that or, or witnessed this in some type of way or they wouldn't be able to birth us, you get what I'm saying? They wouldn't be able to, to raise us. To actually have been able to raise a Scorpio rising is to be a real powerful individual, I do believe. Um, so in my past, my mother passed away when I was six and I was raised by my father. Um, you know, he was an older dude. He was like in his 40s when I was born. So by the time I was like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, he was already in his 50s. So he was older and he was stricter. And it just so happens that he was a Scorpio. And that's another thing that I want to find out. Is it true that a lot of us Scorpio Risings had a lot of Scorpionic influences? Like, do we have a lot of people who had Scorpio on their charts or maybe our parents were Scorpios? That's, that's a question that I want to ask you guys. Right, we, we had to have been raised by somebody who can pretty much deal with that power. And if you think back in maybe like the 90s, early 2000s, the 80s, people weren't really uh, receptive to dealing with this type of energy or this type of power. You know, nowadays we have a lot of tools and a lot of videos to get this information out. You know, that can help parents. Hey, if you have a Scorpio rising child, this is what you should look out for. This is what you should be able to deal with. Um, this is what you should, this is how you should handle it. But, you know, our parents are the ones who raised us, our guardians, they didn't necessarily have that. And we're put through a lot of situations where it seemed like a person that was, you know, maybe our guardian was kind of tough on us. Or, but really, we needed that. You know, and once we wise up and own up to everything, own up to our energy and recognize our energy for what it is and what it can be, right? Then we look back into the past and we realize that everything that has happened to us, whether good or negative, to make us stronger, to help us deal with power, to help us deal with control, right? And I got an example about that. You know, a while back, I was working in the restaurant industry and I had a manager over me. I wasn't handling my energy as correctly as I could have. And that created more of a push-pull energy of that power struggle, right? The more that you recklessly, recklessly handle your energy and your power, the more other powerful individuals or beings are going to come and try to control you. Because what they're trying to do is control that power. 
right? They're in fear of that power that you have. So they know they can't control your power, but they can control you if you allow them. I was actually working at two different restaurants, right? Two different managers, both powerful individuals, but both handled their ways, their, their power differently. The first one, right? Hers was more on an assertive level, more on a, you know, you're not working fast enough. Get out there, go do this, go do that, pick that up. Why'd you leave that there? What are you doing? You're not doing this right. This is how you do it, right? You can't really get anybody to work for you or to work effectively with that type of energy. I mean, you can get somebody to do a job, but it's not gonna be done right. It's not gonna be done 100% to that person's best ability. Now, the other job, you know, they still asserted power and control, but it was different. It was a more mental, it was, a, it was, it was more uh, a subconscious type of thing. You know, say if I did a good job, you know, they would come and they'd be like, wow, thank you. You did great. Hey, thanks so much for that, man. Thank you. Wow. They knew that if you would thank somebody for doing some work for you, right? If you can thank somebody for doing some work for you, that's going to make them want to work even harder. Because the boss doesn't have to thank the employee. But when a boss puts, you know, when a boss takes away the idea of, oh, you have to do this, you have to work for me, and they switch it to, or manipulate it into a point of, thank you for doing this, or you're, you're actually doing me a favor. You know, I'm manipulating you enough, your mind, to make you think that you're actually doing me a favor by doing this. It's gonna make you wanna work harder. The power of appreciation, the power of being grateful, right? Because it's all manipulation, whether it's positive or negative but there's always gonna be some type of push and pull when it comes to power and control within our lives because we're constantly gaining power and we're constantly being taught how to control our power, right? You can be put through many situations to help you control your power. But at the end of the day, you're going to control your own power. Actually in our lives to teach us how to use the light and dark methods of master manipulation and power, right? You have to, be a, you have to master your mind to manipulate, right? So mastermind manipulate of your energy, of everyone's energy around you, and just generally of the situation in which you're trying to change, right? Because there's nobody more powerful than you in your own environment. Even the person that seems like they're controlling you, they, they really aren't. You're allowing yourself to be controlled, only out of fear. And that can be changed at any second. Once you realize um, a simple tool, you know, and once I realized this, I never had a power struggle again. You get, I took the struggle out of the power struggle and all I had was power. And that's the same thing you can do. The ones that were actually in your life that were teaching you about control and power were actually put into your life to teach you both the dark and the light methods. Because you have to learn both. There's gonna be a situation in your life and that person who you're trying to change or that person you're trying to reach may not be full of light. They may not be full of dark. You gotta know how to act in that dark situation in that light situation. And you gotta know how to handle yourself in all those situations. That's why you're gonna experience tons of dark, tons of light. But the power comes in it when you realize that it's just a lesson. You get what I'm saying? That, that power struggle that I was going through with my manager way back there in that restaurant, um, at the time, right, I made it a power struggle back then because in my mind, I was just so caught into it. I was caught into what was going on. So I got so caught into that game of it instead of realizing that, because everybody's in your life for a reason, especially the Scorpio Horizon, especially those that are trying to control you. So it's up to you to learn why they're there, right? And how is that benefiting you? Like me doing this video, if I would have never experienced that, um, situation and I wouldn't have it to share with you guys power over something is to gain understanding right to gain understanding takes the fear out of it because fear is fear of the unknown if you expect something and you're aware of it and when it happens you have full understanding of what it is then it takes the struggle it takes the fight out of it the next time you're in a power struggle next time somebody's um, trying to assert dominance on you assert control over. Take a step back and realize 
what's going on in that situation. Realize what you can learn from that situation. What can you learn from that person? What is that person trying to um, teach you? How are you handling your energy? Are you handling your energy correctly to where you can always win? Because at the end of the day, there's nobody more powerful than you in your own environment. I'm gonna say that again. There is nobody more powerful than you in your own environment because you set it up as such. Now I'm gonna talk about why this power struggle may continue to happen in your life. Um, it's gonna to continue to happen in your life because you're constantly exerting power. You are constantly exerting an energy that pushes off to people, that shows your strength, and people are gonna to wanna to conquer that. People are gonna see your strength, people are gonna see your power, and they're gonna to wanna to tame it out of fear of you might control them. Your subconscious mind is gonna set yourself up to surround yourself around people are the ones who actually do that are gonna be powerful enough to, to, to battle with you pretty much. You're not gonna pick a weak opponent, but you are gonna pick an opponent for yourself that you can't beat. So just be aware of that next time you're in a power struggle. Know that you will never set yourself up for failure and that you're always winning. It's been a complete lesson when it comes to Scorpio Rises and power and control is that you can never lose your power, you can never lose your control because you never had power and you never had control over whatever it is you thought that you had power and control over. Say for instance, if you were in a relationship with somebody you felt that you were the dominant one and that you had control, but soon as the relationship went on, you started to lose control and the person became more dominant. And then, you know, you might wanna have that control back. The key to remember is that you never had control over that person in the first place. You only had full control over yourself and the way that you conducted yourself. The person was receptive to the way that you conducted yourself, right? And that's why you had control. So if you ever find yourself in a power struggle with anyone, just know that you never had control over that object, that idea, that person, that situation. You only had control and power over yourself, right? And then that situation or that I did was receptive to that control and power that you had and that you maintained. They allowed you to somewhat have that control. You can never control anything outside of yourself because the only thing that you really need power and control over is yourself. I guarantee that if you can fully control your mind, your thoughts, your actions, and your intentions, and how you behave out in the outside world, you'll never lose control over what it is that you believe that you have control over in the outside world. Which again goes into the idea that if you master your mind, you can master the world. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for your like, comments, and support. If you haven't already, or if you're new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, let me know if there's any content you would like me to cover in my future videos. So thank you guys again for watching. Peace, love, and blessings to all.